It's Rick's Corner with Rick Grayson. Let me go down, pick it up, and I brought it home, and I began to work out. I gave my mother a rough time, but I began lifting a lot of weight. Sure. Then one day, a day, a year later, I got a doorbell ring, French Canadian. He says, Does Mr. Weeder live here? I say, Yes. I have to see him. I say, Why? Because I'm a weightlifter, and I heard about you, but, but the w weightlifter on the family. I said, I'm the family. I'm with Joe Weaver. So he went, let me see where you lift, how you lift. So I brought him there, and I was lifting pretty good weight. So he said, well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to take you down to a, night cl uh, to a, a weight club. It was still weightlifting. Yeah, a gym. Yeah, and I went there and I fell in love with the guys because of the, uh, they, you know, when I went there, they opened the doors for me and I saw kind of all kind of weights and dumbbells, barbells, weightlifting. Everything, everything. You, everything you wanted. Yeah, and I fell in love with all these barley billables because they were helping each other, passing the weight to one another. Right. There's camaraderie. Camaraderie, right, so exactly. So I really liked it, and I joined the club. And I began to work out there, and I met, I got a lot of people of mine who liked me, and I decided after a while, I'm going to put out a contest, because in Canada they had nothing. Right, sure. So, I put out a contest, but the club that I went to, the fellow there belonged to the U.S. Uh, to the uh, what's it? The, what's the club in the United States? The union. The was it AAU? The AAU. Yeah. So he came. Uh, he came there to uh, work with me. Uh, to see the, uh, the place was like. And I show him the place, all the bodyballs the body and all. And I had a lot of fun with him when he brought sure. me over to the club. Sure. And when I decided to make the contest, I had to take the guys from the clubs. Yeah, they had to be part of it. Yeah, but I also, in the magazine, I had guys I invited them to a join. Right. So he was represented at the AAU, and he got me a permit to compete in the first contest. So my brother and I we set up the show. They had over 1,000 or 1,500 Montreal bodybuilders coming to the event, and it was very popular. That's a huge crowd for that Yeah. Crowd. So guess what happened? Bob Hoffman, was a AAU guy, yeah. one of the top guys. He he got a the top guy at the AAU, sent a note that Mr. Weeder cannot get permission for weightlifting or contest. He's not a AAU member. Right. So I said, well, I told my brother, we're better not worry about anything. There's no bodybuilding contest. We'll have the first bodybuilding contest in the United, in, you know, in the United States. Right. And we had the first contest. And it didn't have to be AAU. No, he t I told him the heck with the AAU. We don't want to be controlled by the AAU. Right. The weightlifters and other things. I wanted to have a bodybuilding federation. That was your own. Uh, that was my dream, and that, that became a. That became a reality. Yeah. Now you just talked about the camaraderie back then. 
and, and a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of people who watch my show I always talk about the golden era of the 70s down in the Venice Beach at Gold's yeah. Gym. The camaraderie down then was unbelievable. Everybody yeah. was friends. You were part of the group. Crazy. It was it was just a different world. Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym. And you did a lot of your photo shoots in Gold's. Is there any reason why you never used Vince's? Because Vince's was closer out here. In the Vince's Gym. Vince's Gym in uh, North Hollywood. I I think I went there a couple of times. It was a little fussy. It was. Yeah, he was fussy. But the gym at the beach had the atmosphere. Had a That's right. It had everything. Everything. And you had the beach. You had the sand. And I had the Joe Golden. He was a nice guy. He was a wonderful man. Anybody can come and train. Yeah. That's when I got Arnold to come to L.A. That's my next question. This is the big one. Everybody wants to hear. You're the one that brought Arnold over here. No, well, I ran and missed her at that time. Uh, the contest, you know, for the world. Right. And I invited him, all the champion bodybuilders to come to the contest. Right. And uh, they all was able to come. But Arnold called me back, and he got my uh, letter. He said, Joe, I can't come there. I don't have any money. I said, you, the champion in Europe, you have no money, you can't buy a ticket. No, I can't buy a ticket. But I love to compete. So I gave him, I'd send him a ticket. Yeah. He came there. And I was enjoying the, not only the, the weightlifting, the bodybuilding, but I was enjoying the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the way Florida is. Yeah. Beaches and all. Oh, the beaches, sure. Yeah. And I had a good day at the time there, and Arnold came, and he, he began to train a couple of weeks before the contest began. Yeah. And he went into the contest, and he took second place. And when I went downstairs to go and visit the bodybuilders, I saw Arnold there uh, sitting with a trophy. It was, you saw a picture. Yeah, sure. Massaging it. He loved it so much. I told him. No, he said to me, Mr. Weeder, I don't know why I took second place. I always win in every contest. So I told him, oh, you're a little too bulky to be. Beat. Yeah, he was huge. Yeah, so you got to train, get out of the shape and all. You just don't know how to do it. And he was a nice guy. So I figured he may be a good representative for the sport because he was tall. He had everything. And then all the I noticed all the bodybuilders from all over liked him. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, I thought originally that the Americans would hate him coming here to compete. He wasn't. They all liked him and came friendly. And I spoke to Joe Gold and he told him to come there. I sent him there, the plane fair. I got him a little car, place to stay. And he worked out at Gold, Joe Gold's. I remember that very well. Yeah. He was just, he had the charisma and he was uh, everybody's friend and just a great guy. In fact, in fact, I had done the, the original Gold's Gym t-shirt back then, the design, and I had an ad in one of the magazines and you came to me and you said, why don't you advertise in my magazine? I said, I can't afford it. And so you told me, you won't remember this, but you might, if you do photo shoots for me and advertise my products, I'll give you a free full page ad. And you did. And you did. And, and it made a lot of money. And it ran for several years, and it was a beautiful ad. And I have to thank you for those days. It, it really helped my life, gave me a nice son and family, and um, it's because of you. Well, everything we did was people liked. Yeah. So, too bad Joe Cole died. Yeah.